y'all got to watching Canelo Alvarez uh, interview after the fight. And they were asking him, listen, man, what's next for you? We don't, they was hesitant. They, they didn't want to really ask him about it. Like, well, we hate to ask you this right after a hard 12 rounds of boxing with Triple G, but who's your next opponent? You know, well, are you looking into, you know, David Benavidez? And, and Canelo clearly got irritated. Clearly he got irritated. And he was asking him, yeah, we know we don't want to fight Mexicans. And, and we know that David Benavidez, particularly, he's not full Mexican, you know, Ecuadorian. But Canelo clearly was dismissive of it, got a little bit agitated. And that's just an indicator to tell y'all he ain't fighting David Benavidez. He doesn't. Play. Then he says, I'll fight anybody. But then, then the, how you going to say you're going to fight anybody, but then you're saying you ain't going to fight Mexican fighter. You're not fighting Mexican. So you're not fighting anybody. You won't fight anybody. You're selective. And you're a fucking duck, sir. That's that's my feelings towards Canelo. I've been always telling people this. And one way you can tell he's a duck is he tried to get into detail about <laughs> David Benavidez back where his, his ethnicity, you know, he's this, I think he says something about he's this percent of Mexican and they, they, shut up, man. Like, <laughs> then he, this is the ultimate thing he said, y'all. He said, damn, well, he only a one-time champion. What has he done? He hasn't done nothing. That's the typical duck man excuse. The ducks love using that shit. Who has he fought? And all this and that. Who has he fought? You even heard Errol Spence say that shit about Bud one time. And people told him to try to dismiss that shit. You remember Bud? Errol said that about Bud. Who has he fought? Who has he fought? Remember that? Yeah. Anyway, back to this fool, Canelo. David Benavidez was a one-time champion. Okay. What has he done? Bro, what has he done against who? You not you, fighters like you, you not you're not giving him a chance to do nothing. How could you be great if the greats don't want to fight you or the people that's supposed to be great don't want to give you a shot? It, it, what does he what does he want him to do? Fight who? So he's saying Benavidez is a one-time champ, and he's also attaching that to him not being a, like not accomplishing much. Okay. So if he don't fight you, who is Benavidez supposed to fight to accomplish much so he can get to you? He's gonna fight Demetrius Andra. He don't even he's not gonna have a belt at 168. Who is he gonna fight? And then he said, oh and he fought Anthony Durrell. That's it. Okay. Nigga, he trying to fight you though. What's up? Are you gonna pull up or not? Or are you gonna keep running like a bitch, bro? Because that's what he's doing. Um I, I don't understand the the logic of Canelo. He don't he don't want to fight this dude. He don't he don't want to give David Benavidez a shot because he's saying he's a one-time champion. He hasn't done anything. But who has? Remove Benavidez for a minute at 168. Uh at 160. He went down to he when did he where did he fight? Um he fought Triple G. Yeah, he fought Canelo at 168. So his belts was on the line. Canelo's belts was on the line, right? So you give you you pull you pull Triple G up to 168. Of course, Triple G was gonna take that fight. This was his cash out fight. This all that's all Triple G was doing, just lingering around the sport, waiting for Canelo to give him another bag. That's all he was doing. So all these other dudes is there in the vision. Uh, all these other guys. You got David Morrell. You got. Um, David Benavidez, Andre ready to come. I think Andre is going up to 168, right? He didn't officially fight there yet. So, why you didn't give them a shot? I know already you had the issue with, with uh, Andre already, but what about Benavidez? There's really not many people at 168 that's top dudes. They might not be champions, but those are the top dudes. You are the champion, fool. You got all the belts. So who the fuck else is supposed to fight you at that division that's supposedly great or, or hasn't done that has done something? Who who else besides Benavidez, man? Zerto? No, Zerto's, I'm sorry, y'all. Zerto's 175. So let's not bring Zerto up at, at the moment. But we talking about 168. Apparently, 
he ain't going back down to 160. He made Triple G come up to his weight class. So he's probably going to try to stay at 168 or he's going to retire. I don't think he's going back up to 175. This may be the end of Canelo, y'all. I think this is the end of Triple G. But I think this is the end of Canelo Alvarez's career. I think he's he's winding it down. I think he's he's burnt out. Because he don't he don't look he didn't look spectacular to me fighting Triple G. He looked tired. He looked it's like the same old Canelo. He wasn't doing much. The same shit he always do. You know what I mean? I I think his power was overrated. I always said that. But he's clearly ducking these guys, especially David Benavidez. He don't want to go up to fight better VF. That's why he took Bevel. Because he thought Bevel was going to be easier because Bevel ain't really a knockout artist. So he figured uh, he would go in there and just steamroll over Bevel. And then he got a rude fucking rude awakening. And he used this fight here with Triple G as a feel-good fight. And that's it. And he didn't even look good. The fight did nothing for him. I didn't think he looked good at all. I wasn't impressed. He actually got stunned in there a few times by Triple G. So, come on, man. Miss me with the bullshit, bro. But anyway, uh, Canelo is the biggest dug in boxing right now. I think right right uh, after fucking Tank Davis, bro. Right after Tank and a few other dudes from 135 or 140. All these other, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, Canelo Alvarez, Jamal Charlo. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez, all these dudes is ducks, man. All straight ducks in a row. Bad for the sport, bro. You know what I mean? And this dude Canelo, he just here just yanking bags from people, just trying to maneuver, dip, and dodge around the real smoke. And I see what he's doing, but the fans of him going to keep giving him excuses. Who else he going to fight? And if he don't retire, right, who else is he going to fight, y'all? He ain't going to fight nobody. If he fight one of these dudes, one of these... Live wires, bro. I'll be surprised, bro. I'll be surprised. Time will tell. But anyway, this your boy Rebel Life Boxing, man. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. And I'm out. Peace.